excuse me, Mr. Hemingway, can I have a beer with you? Sure. I love life and all the people in it. Thanks. And hey, as a fellow writer, I would love to talk to you about the craft. I mean, God, if only we could get rid of these damn arms and attach the pen directly to the heart, right? You guys, I got his pen! Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure we were going to make it. I wasn't worried. I faced bigger challenges, like trying to dress Jonah Hill for the Oscars. Okay, okay, perfect. Tell him to stay exactly that weight. Yes? Oh, damn it! Chris, can you hear me? Huh? You're dreaming. Dreaming? Yay, no consequences! So lifelike! <sighs> All right, let's go back six minutes and try this again. We're going to take you on a special dream trip to help you pass your history test. You are? Yes, and there's so much to learn. For example, did you know that Jesus didn't really die on the cross? So what was the cause of death? Cocaine and severe trauma to the colon. Yeah, I'm going to need to see those forms. Maybe there's a way to actually show Chris history with my time machine. You know, that's really nice of you, Stewie. Well, he's my brother. We've got to stick together, like that two-headed girl on TLC. Okay, who wants to taste it and who wants to smell it? Who said we have nothing to fear but fear itself? Scooby-Doo? No. Shaggy? It's nobody on Scooby-Doo. Wow, Chris, you, uh, you really don't know history. I know. And if I fail ninth grade, I won't amount to anything. I'll end up being one of those bus drivers that parents don't completely trust. You have a beautiful child, Mrs. Roberts. You can count on me, the same way NASA counted on me during the Apollo 13 crisis. All right, I'm gonna need three coffins, mahogany with brass handles, three new daddies for the dead astronauts' kids, and a black suit for me. Sir, I think I know a way we can get them back. Is it hard? It might be. Yeah, we, we've kind of already decided we're going in this direction. No, absolutely not. I am not living like this. You think Morgan Fairchild has a fart hole in her house? Morgan, the cuckoo van is divine. But so rich. Will you excuse me? Where do our Hollywood farts go? I've heard they're filtered into Tom Sizemore's house. <laughs> ah, Morgan. Oh, no, 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 that is not happening. No, 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 I do not go the butt way. Look, I know it sounds a little rough, but why don't we start with a gentle massage of the area and see how you feel? Peter, get away from my ass. Brian, <laughs> Brian, no! Huh, guess I'm just gonna have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Just a weasel. Yeah, we'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. Dribble, 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 talking shirt, give to my friend. Spin on finger, two rotations, dream about window. Put away basketball, go to work in calcium mine. I assume if you're watching TV, that means you already did all my chores? Uh, I sure did, sure did. I scared off the mailman, threatened Quagmire's cat, and I even took your bath for you. Now I'm just gonna reach for the shampoo. No jumping out. Ah, he's got Rupert! Hey, drop it! Drop it! Drop it! First thing tomorrow, I'm taking Brian to obedience school so we can get him back under control. You know, sending him to school wouldn't be the worst idea. He might even enjoy it. I know I had a blast in college. Man, I love college. So many chicks, so many parties. Yeah, <laughs> totally. I'm supposed to meet the RA for coffee later in the common room, but until then, I'm just going to walk around with my shower caddy and see what people wrote on their whiteboards. We now return to an 80s teen movie at a realistic high school. You going down at that karate tournament. I don't think so. You guys do karate? You're both losers. In fact, you seem like a prime candidate for the chair. <laughs> Honey, did you hear a dog scream? Yes, I did, dear. Our summer cabin is near the obedience school. Well, while you freshen up, maybe I could help you get a head start on that homework. You do that? Wow, that'd be great. 
Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were gonna go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. What was that all about? Well, I guess I have to do it by myself. Boy, this light is taking forever. Please get out. I never drive this car. My wife died in it. We best get you to bed, sir. Oh, come on, Brian. It's still early. Let's just let's go throw potatoes at Cleveland's house. You go ahead. I've got to go make the waffle fries that you scream requested in the car. Jeez, what the hell happened to him? We used to be so close, but now we seem so different. Like a whale and his developmentally disabled brother. Mouth, you hundreds of fish. Here, hold still. Make a wish. What did you wish for? This. You used me just so you could date my sister. Oh my God, Chris! I'm so sorry. What have I done? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, Dad, you got us in. Now just go. You wearing a bow tie? What's the occasion? No occasion, Lois. I just want to piss a couple of guys off. What the hell are you doing? You think you're better than us? No way you tied that on your own. Go away! I never want to talk to you again! God, I should have known it. I feel more betrayed than when I thought that lawyer was going to propose. So you did commit the murder? Uh-huh. And you admit it here in front of everyone? Uh-huh. No further questions, Your Honor. Wait, no further questions? Motion to have the last eight years stricken from the record. Is everyone warm in here? Is it warm? Brian, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It just seems kind of... Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Lois, your dog threw up. Peter, Brian's clearly not feeling well. You got to take him to the vet. Unbelievable. Brian throws up once and you rush him to the vet. I was throwing up all night last night. Good stat. Keep it up, snack pack. <laughs> Peter, you gotta take him now. Oh, Lo Lois, it's probably just something I ate. I'm, I'm fine, really. I, I, I got more energy than a cruise ship conga line. Horny on a big boat! Horny on a big boat! I'm very sick from lobster. We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Why did it have to be elderly potheads? Why don't you give it a shot? good? It was okay, but it would be a shame to waste such great butcher's arms on a musical instrument. Were you once a squirrel? No, Peter. I'm handicapped. Well, you know, you ought to do something with this. Really? You think so? Hey, trust me, Joe. I know talent when I see it. I mean, I discovered Mr. Peanut. Ordinary legume. Ordinary legume. Extraordinary Peanut! <sighs> Brian, this is your heart. What the hell do you think you're doing? Stop. Brian, this is your penis. Don't listen to him. We're this close to Bone City. Brian, I'm here too. I'm hanging out with your penis and your heart. Excuse me, Mr. Chicago? Could you please sign my copy of your book? Sure. I... Easy there, Joe. Hot rod ass for Mr. Chicago. Give me all your money? I have a gun? Oh, wait. I think I messed something up. Never give up on your dreams? Precious. Once a precious rope. Peter, enough with the rope. Also, once ice cream. No, Peter, it's too close to dinner time. Get ice cream anyway. Don't you dare. <sighs> All right, but I'll be back in a moment. There's another movie thing. I am Johnny Five. Need input. 
Input is ice cream. I need ice cream. Did I say I'm Johnny Five yet? You didn't go to work today, did you? What the hell? <laughs> Peter, what did you do? I saved our business. And don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Oh, hey, butter. Some guys like butter. Uh, yes, I'd like a chocolate chip cookie. Elmer? What, Mom? You promised I could get a cookie if I finished all my surgery. Did you? Yeah. All of it? Um. Get back there. I'm gonna do it. What does it matter when I do it? I mean, I had that job creating ads for the North Dakota Board of Tourism. Hi, do you like South Dakota but don't want to see Mount Rushmore? Come to North Dakota. It's just a very long drive from wherever you live. Best of all, most of the good license plates aren't taken yet. Imagine coming here and having cool dude, or yay Jews, or boo Jews, depending on where you stand on Jews. North Dakota, we're not even the best Dakota. Well, you would write the books, and your friend Peter would be the public face of the hopeful squirrel. He would be David Chicago. Well, I... I don't know. Joe, this happens all the time. You wouldn't believe who really writes all those Stephen King books. Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, ding! Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, ding! Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, lunch! Well, actually, I'm writing it under a pen name, David Chicago. Well, how come you didn't just write it under Joe... Steenberg... You know, your real name. Yeah, I wanted to avoid catching crap down at the police station. They don't like anything artistic. They were pretty rough on my mime act. I'm in a box. Oop, that's the back of the box. You're not supposed to talk. Well, how else are you going to know I'm in a box? Uh, look at Cleveland over there. He's obviously cleaning his feet in the pool without making it look like he's cleaning his feet in the pool. Oh, that's nice. That's a good temp. I wonder if this temp is the same on my other foot. Oh, yeah. Sure is a good day for it. Good day for these wet paintbrushes, too. Is the pool too warm for paintbrushes? 